Dude, you want to talk about when I tried to choke you from the bottom? Uh, <laughs> you were in full mount? <laughs> hey, yeah, you did, you did. I escaped, I think. <laughs> Dude, when I tried to rape choke you from the yeah. bottom? It was not happening. Yeah, I, thought was I got bad. really... I got, yeah, I thought you were going to kill me. I, I got really fucking mad when you did that. <laughs> Why? It's a like choke. I, I, I started slamming like his head on the ground, I think. <laughs> I was fucking. I it's was a really choke, bro. I was pissed, bro. Even what that, I was just like, "You're in full well. You can murder me." And I was just like grabbing his head, and like slamming it on the mat. I'm basically it's fighting choke. to survive. It's a choke, bro. If you could use that in a tournament, I'm pretty sure you could. But like yeah, the thing is, people nobody's it, gonna do it because they're gonna get arm barred. Fellas, do you know Alec has a PC? Would it be easier to do this shit off a of PC? What's up? Would it be easier to like store all your info and all this shit off of a PC? Mm, uh, I I wouldn't say that just because. Um, hold on one second. How the fuck did I get there? Uh, no. So a hard drive would probably be best because in case anything happened to the computer, we have uh, external memory where we could just plug it into another computer. So, what's going on, gentlemen? Uh, it's been a while. Um, let me just make sure the camera's good. Oh. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was thinking about how... <laughs> no, you get... It's it's nothing in there. Oh, okay. Good. Scared you scared the shit out of me. Look, yeah, this is, this. You almost knocked it out hitting the table. Oh, uh, bro. So, uh, I missed the Halloween party. How was that? Anything fun happen? I was the only one here. I had to leave, really. <laughs> me and Ant were the only ones here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, besides, like, as far as podcasts between Oh, like, yeah, 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 just between the, the, us boys, four. the boys, the boys, the um, boys. But, no, it was fun. Yeah. I, I came as I a, think I left right before you all got here. Did you? Yeah. I didn't even show up. Yeah. Something happened. What happened? Oh, God. No, I think work-wise. <laughs> so, like, anytime I can't make it over you here. You witnessed a wreck, huh? No, I'm sure. No, dude. <laughs> you, wit- you witnessed a murder. I, so, I... I called uh, RJ and I was like, dude, I was like, because originally my time was 628. And then like traffic was, I was at, literally at Ikea for like a good 30 minutes just waiting, like dead st- stop traffic. And then you're like, well, you, you, you're you at accidents, so what you got to say? And I'm like, FaceTime me. And I showed him the fucking Who lights. Oh, I said, don't, please don't show me an accident right now. And then he's like, I'm going to show you an accident. <laughs> and he shows me an accident. I'm like, wow. <laughs> But mm, it's just it's it's just a we're, we're saving this clockwork for, thing with yeah I haven't opened it today. We're saving this for it's the good stuff. Terp row, terp row. It's like a death row record, fucking little. That's awesome. I want this. I want Asher, <laughs> I'll give it to you whenever it's empty. Oh hell yeah! Put your so uh, was, was the Halloween party fun? Anything cool happened? No. It was just a regular Halloween jam. Ant was really mad. <laughs> he was lit talking, just going off on me on the group chat. I had to, uh, I had to take off my costume after like three rounds. What were you? Um, mankind. Oh, you're mankind with the sock. <laughs> oh man, you have a picture. I didn't, get to, I didn't get to see that. You have a Arty's picture. got a hard on right now. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I got a picture because like I took it off almost immediately because I I think my second round I got around with Josh and he fucking brought the heat and I was like. Oh shit! So I can't look like this while he brings. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" I, I fucking threw off the wig. I was like, "Fuck it!" Where'd you get the mask from? <laughs> I didn't have the mask. It was just the the wig. The you just wig. wore the, the button up. <laughs> yeah, you get and the I security had the footage. Up fucking um, what is it? That red flannel that he wears. Oh, yeah, like Mick Foley's like cut, flannel, and I had yeah. this underneath instead oh, dude, of that's like awesome. a, the smiley Cactus face. Jack, or oh yeah, yeah. that's and fucking then, awesome. Uh, oh. Obviously, my teeth are fucked up like his, so I'm like. <laughs> and then I got the sock. I drew a sock with a, a weed, a cigarette in his mouth. That's fucking hilarious. Fuck. What about you, RJ? I was a pimp. Oh yeah, I, I got very offended when he oh, sent me that. And then uh, some, I was like, I was walking around. Hey, I was so pissed off I was when like, he sent me that. Hey, I was walking around doing this that. Dude, this dude had the audacity to send me a video, <laughs> him doing that. I was so pissed. <laughs> well. I don't give a fuck if you're pissed, but some kid at, like was like, "What? What are you?" I'm like. I'm not going to explain to you what this is. <laughs> you're, you're you're the, I'm not the guy that educates you on this. <laughs> so I'm a street businessman. That's basically all I said. I was going to dress up as uh, so Steven Seagal. I'm going to play a baby. I'll play you. 
Pimping since been pimping since been pimping since been pimping. Don't be saying that. I'm trying to get right with the Lord. <laughs> Y'all remember how high? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Tell him powder. <laughs> Anyways, um, I love how high. <laughs> Um, like last year, right? I was I was dressing up as a, a Seagal, Steven Seagal with you the did or you were going. I was going to. to I was going to come in with the with the the kung fu shirt, the you carrot, cut off all your facial hair. Yeah, I was going to cut off all my facial hair, and run all shitty. Yeah. JC had the best costume. He came What's in right? as Rex uh, Quando. Rex Quando, dude. Uh, well, he. I think that's the second year in a row. Remember last year he dressed up as Bibbs or who was that that dressed that up as Bobby? Bibbs? That was Bobby. That was Bobby. <laughs> yeah, that shit was amazing. <laughs> Bibbs was looking at him like, "What? He can only half. He can only be half mad. <laughs> I don't think he could be mad. It was pretty funny. It was pretty <laughs> funny, but Bibbs's reaction dropping the N word to the what the fuck? Uh, I was looking forward to having another crazy little episode like that. Yeah, where everybody was just like barging in, just like saying something in lawn getting drunk. Oh yeah, he got mad at me. That episode's on the Patreon, by the way." Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oof. I hope somebody fucking pays for that. I don't think that. I want to go listen to that. <laughs> I hope somebody pays for that, dude. They would like... It's the only episode we have on Patreon. It's a good one. <laughs> it's definitely not worth... Uh, paying that, dude. Paying for? Probably, yeah, yeah, the no. Patreon's been very difficult to manage with two episodes a week. We're at it, but then... Do we have a lot of episodes. That we have a lot. Yeah, we haven't released, but you there's for good reasons. Oh, you have an archive. <laughs> what? We need to go through. You need to send yeah. them me. Okay. So, okay. I mean, we'll go it's over just, that later. Yeah, right? we'll, we'll go over it one day. So and we much, got a vault, bro. How much money has the Patreon made? I don't Is know. Is there any money in the Patreon? There, like, there was, there was, there was. And I switched it down to two <laughs> bucks because it was too expensive. So, like, is there a current balance inside of the Patreon. We could check and I could send y'all photos of it. <laughs> I haven't fucked with it. That's wild. Yeah, if there is, we'll split it. <laughs> or actually, I think no, it'd be... fuck that. I, I think it'll have to go f- to you because <clears throat> I think it'll have to go to you mostly. Just wait. Okay, we'll wait. Just we'll wait. wait. Gentlemen, gentlemen, it, gentlemen, we'll, 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 we'll talk business later. <laughs> we'll talk business it's it's going to be 20 bucks. Yeah, Dude, how funny would it be if we have like a cult back. following? <clears throat> I'd be so surprised. That'd be crazy. That'd be wild as fuck. Maybe. But uh, we don't. I mean, the Chingo numbers, uh, like, surprised me when I saw the impressions. I was like, oh, God damn. This is, this well, what, are the, what is impressions? Like, what makes it an impression? So, basically, like, I guess people, like, who, like, to my understanding, it's, like, people, like, that searched you or your how many times your fucking podcast episode popped, the, it popped up. On Spotify? On Spotify, yeah. So, I mean, it was it was in the, it was in, like, the 16th thou, it went to 20th thou. But did it show how many people listened to it? No. Uh, so, uh, it, yeah, I have the numbers. We'll disclose that uh, off off camera. Okay. I mean, it's yeah. a good bag. It makes it seem like we're <laughs> shitty. Fucking, we have to talk about it off camera because no, our no, numbers uh, are oh. so shitty. We can't <laughs> talk about them. Oh, oh, one of the episodes. Of did, just kidding. One of the episodes did bomb. Unfortunately, I'm sure. Which yeah. one was it? The fucking yeah. Because we, well, we 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 haven't been consistent or whatever. And uh, but yeah, it, I'm surprised the Aussies are still listening to us. Hell yeah. Australians are fucking on it. Bro. Like, where's Where the fucking are American potheads? If you if you're <laughs> listening to this in Australia, thank you. Yeah, bro. Literally, we're fat dab, we're at like at two percent listening in Australia. We're at two percent audience, and then jumped up to four percent. I was like, holy shit! Yeah. If one of you is a millionaire. <laughs> Come, come train with us. Yeah, come train. Come, come train. Yeah, dude. Uh, the, watch it be Craig Jones the whole, this whole time just fucking listening. Uh, no, fuck Craig me. Jones, come train. Yeah. We'll get That's you high as fuck. Definitely not Craig Jones. <laughs> we'll do some nose beers from Mexico. Hey, did you see that uh, his uh, match up in the UK? Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, and he, and he was he was signaling the, the yeah, nose for Polaris <laughs> middleweight. Uh, but yeah. No, Bro, he went in with that, that rear naked choke. Match. Yeah, Gerald Mearshot. Uh, um, did yeah, you, the did choke you, was great. Did you hear his uh, his uh, post fight interview? Uh, yeah, that's he was like, yeah. "You guys need a fucking season. <laughs> yeah. You guys need you need to work on y'all season. There's none of the food here is seasoned. Like, yeah. People were cool. Though. Where was he at? In the UK. In the UK. Wow. <laughs> he fucking stripped. Told them, "What are your thoughts in the UK?" He's like, "Yeah, he goes. I don't know about y'all, but y'all got to season y'all's food." <laughs> <laughs> the food sucks. Y'all need to see. <laughs> Literally, uh, man. Maybe I can find the clip. It was like a really, I don't know, weird one. But yeah, Craig. How big do you think Jiu Jitsu is going to be in another? 
five years, ten years. If we like, if the world fucking, if we're blessed to live on this world that much longer. This is like the 1980s version of like karate, where like it's it's starting, it's going to be hitting its peak like within like karate was so McDojo kind of. Yeah, yeah well, it was. Like, depends but the on what 80s. kind of karate you're talking about, like Kyokushin. Those motherfuckers are really scary. But yeah. you're talking about like <laughs> those motherfuckers are really scary. Some kata and like all that stuff. But that, still, like yeah. taking Nicky Rod against a fucking karate dude, he's still gonna like he's gonna connect. Oh yeah, and he's gonna sure. fucking oh yeah throw him to the ground like a monkey. Yeah, but think if he landed one kick though. If he did Nicky land Rod's one kick, Nicky Rod's going getting to sleep. Ro- either that or getting rocked. Yeah, and like he's gonna be very upset. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I don't know, but what, uh, this is probably what, about the only legit karate. What, what style did uh, George St. Pierre learn? I thought that was or Leota Machida. Leota Machida is. Uh, I got a fucking wall. I saw a wall video with that. Or Sh- 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 uh, are those the scary ones that you're talking about? Yeah, I don't know. What is the difference? Like, I I don't know. Like, don't know. is there a difference? <clears> like, <throat> like jujitsu uh, no gi and like jujitsu gi. Like, is there a major difference in that? And. No gi. Just the style, right? I mean, it's well, what, what style? Like, do the fucking kicks like land higher? Or do these aim lower? Like, what is it? We're talking about. I'm what, sorry, I'm lo- I got lost. For a second. With the karate styles, you said that there's different Kyokushin types of karate. Yeah, like, like what? Different. What is the difference between like all those? So Kyokushin's like it's a, uh, it's like um, kicking, and striking to the body, but you can kick people in the head. I don't, I don't know. I can. Show Isn't that taekwondo? Like, I don't no, know. Taekwondo strictly kicks. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I did Taekwondo and I'm over here like, isn't that Taekwondo? Yeah, like, yeah. As if I don't fucking know. <laughs> There's this guy. Uh... So, in other words, we do think that Jiu-Jitsu will be that So, big. I saw a wild video of, uh, I guess. Uh, this is Kyokushin. It's Kyo- just real. Okay. Well, just wait. <laughs> and then nuts. This is where you get kicked <laughs> in the nuts? Yeah, he just got kicked in the nuts. But just, just gave it a sec. Dude just casually walked away. It's probably Great. one of the more brutal knockouts I think I've seen. Yeah, but like the anomaly of you coming in contact with somebody like that out in public and starting a fight with them, like, ooh, that was great. Like, uh, it's very small compared to jujitsu. Oh yeah, fighter. for sure. Yes, definitely. Like you're more, you're more in tune to to get in a fight with an uh, an actual jujitsu or a grappler. I just general. think like so like I, off of where where I would base it off of is like UFC, and I would base uh, Wonder Boy. You know, he's like the karate dude. Yeah, but like definitely. he just. Like, his style has died already. You know, he was good for a minute, but then the, the new style that like came the, in, he was just getting starched and shit, you know? like Yeah, but doesn't it all boil down to, like, at the end of the day, it's like uh, Muay Thai has, like, legitimately, like, just n- broken barriers through all those different styles. Yeah, kickboxing, I guess. Yeah, but Muay Thai, for sure. Because uh, being able to, like, include those leg kicks is fucking retarded. Uh, have you and knees and elbows and yeah. you know, all eight limbs, like, but Dude, I, I was gonna ask y'all: Have y'all by any chance seen the uh, y'all y'all watch the, like the I guess the, those karate fights that they have? It's yeah, like, like karate the, combat, the slanted yeah. ones. Yeah, ca- yeah, karate combat. That's it. With uh, the fucking dude from the goat shed. Fucking Leota drink Mach- his piss. Yeah, yeah. Leota Machida. I fucking gave him the cup, and the dude just grabbed like pissed in the fucking cup, and then drank it. What the fuck? Yeah, the guy from Goat Shed. Yeah, the owner. That's uh, pretty raunchy. Wait, yeah. W- what is it? Goat Shed. What is that? It is a uh, fucking. Pretty good MMA school slash jujitsu and wrestling academy or whatever it is in fucking Miami, Florida. It's in Puerto or Rico. Puerto, it's in Puerto Rico. I believe Rico? it's in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Oh well, I, I always see them in Miami, so yeah, it, it makes sense that they're right, just right there. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure they're but, back and forth. But yeah, yeah, they they got some killers, bro. Yeah. And they train pretty hard. So he yeah, be, their Instagram he, is pretty wild. He became the president of Karate Combat. Mm-hmm. Okay, who was the president before Leota Machida? I have or did Leota Machida be like, all right, all right, this is, this is the uh, for you to get the crown to this like, piss in this bottle and drink it. I don't fucking know, dude. Right, it was a while. It was what? Can we admit a video that it, of this? There's a video of this. Yes, yeah, there's a video. Okay. Leota Machida pulls out a cup from his gi. You could probably find type it in karate combat. You could probably find it on the goat shed guy. Or yeah, karate combat. There's a clip it on the P. 
Type in Karate Combat P. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, let, let me. I'll, I'll look it for you. I know. I know. I'm the Jamie here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Type in Karate Combat P. Goat shit. Here. Uh, where is it? Let's see. That's it. That's it. Yep. That's it. Where are you going? What is that? The Nick, oh. bro. <laughs> he saw the cup and was like, what the fuck? That's not real. Definitely not real. <laughs> what the fuck? No. I don't know. For a thousand likes, bro, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that was my phone. <laughs> RG. I don't understand what that is, like why that was good for anything. But I thought like Leota Machida was president of Combat Karate and this dude was taking over the reign, so he was just like, you know, like these are the the ways to the crown. You know, I've heard this. weird shit though. Like, isn't there like been boxers that drink goats? piss in fucking Mexico and stuff like I that. I don't know about that, man. I've never heard of that. I know Leota Machida was a big thing about drinking his own piss. Fucking wild. Apparently. Is that real? That's One why time. John Jones fucked him up. Yeah, he choked the fuck out of him. Cage choke. I mean, who fucking knows? But, uh, the, yeah, that shit was fucking wild. And then, uh, here, let me see if I can pull up the Craig Jones interview. Oh, man. Is there, like, a Q-tip or a paper towel up there or anything? Yeah, I don't know if we have any. You're good. Let me see. Um, UFC fight pass. All right, here we go. The thing was, the thing that was pretty funny about this was um, <laughs> Craig Jones uh, called out, I guess, Flow Grappling for doing what for. I guess like well, flow grappling for trying to bring Nikki Nikki Ryan out for a seminar and not pay for like a hotel. Something do everything for free. Something happened, but like Craig Jones like basically called out flow grappling. Was just like, oh, like you know, you you're over here like asking how much I got paid for UFC five pass this and that. Well, you don't got to worry too much on it. And he's like just dropping all his money on himself. Yeah. Is but, he basically saying flow grappling is bitch shit, bullshit, and like they're fucking? I lame. think, man, it, it it was it was weird. Hold on. I'll, I'll bust it out real quick. Mm. But, yeah, you was calling don't them out that they, that they don't pay. Yeah, well, I know that whenever I tried to fucking get a flow grappling um, subscription, they charge you, like, everything at once for fucking a year or whatever you're supposed to have your subscription Here, here to check out. The uh, Raspberry Hold on. People have Very yeah, and, uh, sure. This is the no season part. He said Craig Jones said that though. Yeah, no, but he, this dude just said uh, the seasonings. <laughs> the seasoning sucks here. All right, so let's see where I can find the video. But yeah, bro, he called out Flow Grappling in, in the video. Fuck, I saw it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here I am. on Polaris live on the UFC Fight Pass tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. When I come to find out, Flow Grappling is reaching out, trying to figure out how much is this man getting paid to compete for this rival organization. They couldn't possibly imagine that, gee, maybe I just want to come and see some UK friends, some UK fans, or even compete for a reputable organization that I trust. They think I'm only financially motivated, and that really hurts me inside. But they would think so low of their athletes that they could only be possibly motivated by money. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. He's taking Dude. this shit, too. <laughs> yeah. 
Is he wearing one of those fucking hats? <laughs> the Peaky yeah. Blinders hat? Dude, yeah. that's, I want, I've been wanting like a jazz hat for like years, and I've yet to buy one. I've been wanting a good country hat. R- RJ, you wear one of those, dude. I'm automatically going to assume that uh, <laughs> you, you know every brewery in town. <laughs> You're no. sick. I don't know. <laughs> every brewery in town. Well, dude, it's a Peaky Blinders ah. hat. <laughs> To- uh, I, uh, to- no, not, well, yeah. a- anybody who's like close to the Peaky Blinders, that's Topher. Well, doesn't have a bill. <laughs> Calling Topher a Peaky Blinder. <laughs> Topher, Topher's got the the look for the Peaky Blinders. Yeah, he he's got the tattoos. He's got the him. hair. <laughs> well, when he did have hair. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think he'd stand out too much for the pe- for the Peaky Blinders. No way, dude. Uh, Topher's like one of those people that would I would imagine as a barber and like will slice you up with a barber blade. Yeah, with a nice fade. So, what's what are your thoughts on the flow grappling and Craig Jones? Uh, well, I I just like I don't know because yeah I don't know when the last time he competed for on flow. I don't know what's going like how they like deal and that shit. That's because I'm not at that level or whatever. But I I don't, I don't know. I guess but it, that is kind of annoying to be like. Up in his shit like that while he's <coughs> competing. Yeah, uh, like if I was Kirk Jones in like another organization that I I did business with is like getting very very curious as to like why I'm going for their rival organization. Like first off, I'm not fucking tied down to anybody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is he like con- contract yeah. contractually like I don't think bound to um, flow? Yeah, I don't think Flow Grappling has the money like, like that. that. That that hat right there. That's damn. I like that one. The yeah, one with like the old the baseball, but without the fucking cap. Oh, those D's right here. Yeah, those, those are, are cool. pretty cool. Yeah, RJ, I wouldn't be surprised if like <coughs> RJ wore a hat like that with a suit, and then he's got his horse with the matching suit and hat. You haven't seen that? You don't know what I'm talking about. All right, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> That's probably fucking something lame. But uh, when are we gonna do a traveling dab room episode? That'd be dope. That'd be where, really where dope. We, where could we go? Anywhere. Anywhere, literally anywhere. Go to the top of uh, Enchanted Rock. Damn. It might be a little too windy. This looks like what It just art, depends art. what season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That looks like something you do. <coughs> Maybe. <laughs> just imagine Arjun with his horse in his ranch. <laughs> Ooh, that's where we should have a podcast whenever we go to the yeah. ranch. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'd be so, <laughs> I'd be so game. But we have to plan it out because I don't want nobody. Or what? I don't want nobody blind, bitching blind, out at the last minute. Blind. What's that? We can talk like this in the blind the whole time. Oh, I don't know where we would get power from the blind. We oh, can we're just gonna bring a little. We're gonna do one in the blind. We can put outside the blind. <laughs> <laughs> we do have to go to the ranch though. So, what's up with all those vehicles that are popping up on the ranch? So we were uh, filling feeders at a ranch in Batesville. I'm trying to think. Is that anywhere nearby border? I mean, close enough. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think. It's probably about 50 minutes. 50 oh, minutes oh, from yeah. the border. Maybe. Maybe less. So they're Maybe just more. abandoning ship there? Well, yeah. We were fucking... This ranch was big because we were filling like maybe 14 feeders. Damn. And we were at a corner of the fucking ranch and there was an abandoned uh, Chevy Silverado, maybe like a... 2003 or 4 and uh, it was from Portland. Oh shit. Sure. License plate were from Portland. Uh-huh. But we we're like driving around with one of the owners of the ranch and he's like that's suspicious and we uh went to fill up the feeder anyway and then came back around and he was like got down to take pictures and everything. Like the front of the hood was open like so maybe obviously it broke down but uh. it was just always random shit like that happening. Damn, what if he knows about it? What if he's in on it? Right? What if watch there? He was like, just playing stupid. So that's suspicious. Right? Because, huh. I mean, usually, I don't know. Either Because it's their property. They're from Houston. Talk close to the mic. They're from Houston. There you go. And, like, the surrounding area. Right. So, um, they only go to the ranch during the season, you know? Yeah. So, like, for, like, almost a year, there's a whole bunch of time where they're not around. So, like, anything could have happened from here to that year. And there was a lot of immigrant bailouts in Uvalde for the last year just because of all the immigration shit going on. But, okay, so, like, Uvalde's, like, 
in the hill country like I, I like how is there so much immigration through there so oh del rio del rio yeah my eagle, bad eagle pass are yeah like maybe 40 minutes away 45 oh, minutes away shit what's up is the one himself what's going on <laughs> the one what's up you do you hurt me last time you're always late I congratulated you, uh-huh. but I also motivated you <laughs> to become a better version of you. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> oh, you don't be. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> you don't know that. Not right now, he ain't going to hurt you. What's up? Your hat. What's going on back here? <laughs> oh, I grew the hair out that you told me to grow out. All right, it's coming back. <laughs> I do a cleanse. You know what I mean? Read the Bible a lot. You know what I mean? There you go. You, you told me grow your hair out, and you said you had a cult going. You and to, you, you needed. I listened. Don't worry about it. I like Koresh. <laughs> no, cool. no, without the wife fucking. Literally everybody that everybody that that agreed to to grow the hair out because he convinced them to. I was the only one that grew it out. Everybody else cut it. Who was there? Who else was? There? Uh, I think Chino. Uh, I think Richard. <laughs> you know, uh, I think Josh. I love Chino, but you know that ain't happening. <laughs> Dustin, you that beard up. <laughs> Dustin. Dustin is also bald. Uh, Richard, <laughs> Josh. Oh, so it was Chino, Richard, Josh, Dustin, uh, JC. Bald Josh? <laughs> when am I on the pod again? When am I on the pod again? Dude, I got things I need to talk about, bro. <coughs> drop, 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 drop some knowledge right shit. now. Listen He's about to teach a class, though. Listen, drop it right I got now. a class to teach right now. I got an advanced class. Drop it. Do you know what E3 is by chance? Probably not. Fucking purple belt. <laughs> fucking right. punk over here. Purple belt. Right. I don't even know their fucking warm ups. You ever doing a fancy fucking leg lock? No, leg no, leg. Get just over yourself no. And do your fucking warm ups. That's the piece. Today. That's the piece today. Do your fucking ten planet warm ups, dude. You understand me? Damn. Listen, the government is behind every fucking thing. <laughs> and here's the next thing, right? The Earth is flat as ever. Get it together. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> super, super Eddie Bravo. We just watched us get our whole ripped. <laughs> He, he's very prideful about those warm ups. Uh, we can go. We can go in on. He told all me. Day, he told me he couldn't get promoted to blue unless he memorized all those warm ups. It's a lot, bro. <sighs> Maybe by a one. He had two, a tough a coach, bro. Yeah, whoever, Curtis. <laughs> whoever. There's different. It was Curtis. There's different. Ah, it's, everything's different. His shit's ingrained for sure. But uh, we can go all day on it, couldn't we, Mike? But I'm sure there's, there's no need to. We I love you, Roman. thank you, Rome, for the words of knowledge. E uh, three will be learned. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll come back. And we'll Next time he's gonna come around and ask a different one. Though, yeah. So what's gonna be E five? Well, let's go ask him. Well, we'll go ask him a random ass one. Then. Do me, give me H seven. I guarantee you he's gonna Do come G in with 11. A, a very very smart response, and then you're not gonna be have the information <laughs> right in front of you to look it up. He's just gonna keep answering every single one. Yeah, correct. My guy, there is. And I'm many. not gonna know if it's correct. What's that? There's too many. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's but there's too many. He, he was really he was adamant that before he got a, a blue belt, he had to have the whole warm ups memorized. And I know for sure that there's higher belts than me that don't know every fucking one. Nobody does. In this gym? Yes. No. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Robert. I don't know if Robert will. Do you think Robert knows all of them? Yeah. No. no Ro- Robert's I don't know if Robert. He knows all of them. He probably. No. I, I guarantee you, pro- Robert does. Probably knows a lot. I don't know. He probably he knows a lot. I think. I think he it's knows. A, Bro, do you know how many is in there? Let's look at them right now. Do you honestly know? There's too many. Dude, Jigo, Bligo. Did he hook y'all up with the index pass? Oh. What? Did he say he was going to hook us up with it? Uh, or what did we say we were going to hook him up with something? Shout out Chingo Bling. Shout we, out we Chingo got, We got to hook up from Chingo Bling. For what? Let y'all know. For the 10th Planet Index. Uh, what do you mean? Like his, uh, just, we, it, whatever, just... Find these. Fucking Tell me things. how many. Look at that. Oh, look at all that. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, let's go to the A series. There's A, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you said E4. Uh, E4. All right. No, we said E3. I thought he said E4. You said E3. Oh. E3. There, okay, I was like, is there no E3? <laughs> there is an E3. And the thing is, too, I'm not. Oh, man, I don't remember my words, bro. I know that one. I fucking do that. Prison guard. Homie control. Gift wrap. Truck. 
baseball bat, controlled twister, sneaky kamikaze. But that's it. Is that E3? That's E3. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, it's man. It's just E3. Come on, man. Just the only way that I remember those is I got to watch them before I teach it, literally. You know what I mean? I'm going to watch it maybe for 30 minutes straight. And then it's going to happen. Like, come on, man. I smoke too much weed, man. It's just in, just my hot take is, I guess, it, 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 it shit's evolving. Yeah, the, all that shit's still relevant. I'm not saying it's irrelevant or anything. But as far as, like, um, teaching pathways to victory... Oh no wonder he's teaching. He, I don't know. No, I'm no, just gonna shut no up. wonder he's teaching the quarter guard <laughs> series. So ease the quarter guard series. So no wonder he's teaching it. Uh, <laughs> it's on the Tuesday schedule. This is week four. Usually that's the way that people will teach. If you go to an Eddie Bravo school, they're gonna usually teach off of the way that it says on like the week. What, like to they're week. going off of HQ. Yeah, I believe. I don't know if that's accurate. Or whatever's on that that app. You know, and it's, that's the thing though. Sometimes it's a little, like it, it can be, um, it could be burned, you can burned out by it, right? Electric underhooks is E4 to the electric chair. So electric chair sweep, pass. And then we learned this a couple of weeks ago with Ant. And then the can crusher. I don't know, <coughs> I've never seen this. <coughs> Interesting. <coughs> well. He's gonna be so pissed when we like end this podcast and just show up to roll. <laughs> Y'all two are gonna show up to roll. I'm injured. I mean, uh, actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna show. Uh, I'm gonna roll. Uh, well, are you? There's not a lot I can do. Um, bending my knee hurts a lot. Like w- sitting <coughs> position, is, I'm in a lot of pain. How was the open mat? Open mat. Yeah, you went right Saturday. Yeah, I, I couldn't train. I thought you went to go leg lock no. everybody lying, asshole. Uh, of course <laughs> I went to <laughs> Have you noticed that I talk the most shit out of anybody? <laughs> For sure, but I do believe in you sometimes. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit. I give you the benefit of the doubt I, I, that I, it's possible that you w- leg lock another white belt. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> not, it's not impossible for sure. It's even possible that you like lock a fucking higher ranked belt. I I, I will say depending this: depending on what gym they train at and what, how yes that, that happens how so. how aware they are of like their surrounding of legs. Um, I will say this: uh, I I feel like last time you and I rolled, you got a little surprised when we we're. Uh, I don't get surprised. I'm fucking. I soak everything up. I I fucking. I I think you're like, oh shit! I didn't expect Roland to get my back like that. I let we're you scrambling. have my back. Okay, never mind. I was confident that you were, you didn't give me your back. I let everybody have my back. I think everybody's had my back because I always try and work out of it. Hard if I can get out of everybody's fucking rear, like I mean, having them on my back, that's, when, just, that's just like good work for me. When I train with RJ uh, and I, I catch RJ in a position, he spazzes the fuck out and freaks out. Yeah, I spaz. Really <laughs> he hard. freaks out. Yeah, spaz, it's really so funny. Is, <laughs> yeah, zero technique, yeah. Zero. <laughs> he like... Yeah. RJ is all about technique, but the minute you end up catching him somewhere, he, he spazzes out and will muscles way out of it. It's really funny. Is it, well, is you it? Li- will rely on what you have left <laughs> if you're fucking stuck. Yeah, I know. He's got like he's got like a quarter ton of weight on me. I would use that fucking excuse, but I roll with so many bigger dudes, bro. I'm 200 pounds, and I'll fucking everybody's got every, there's there's a lot of dudes that have weight on me. Hey, yeah, all I, all I can say and I'll still roll job. them up. All I can tell you is stop it, bro. Just stop it. <laughs> Try and stop it. That's your job. Yeah, yeah. basically. Don't worry you about need what to I'm doing. Stop <laughs> it. Yeah, basically. So uh, y'all didn't show up to open. Oh, why didn't y'all show up to open mat? I was still fucking filling feeders in Uvalde. But oh yeah, yeah. you're an excuse. Life, <laughs> you? is, yeah, life is life, man. Got uh, chair, chair. Uh, he's, he's got three kids. You, you're part timing it up. <laughs> part timing it up. Okay. You're part timing it up in the gym. You couldn't part time it at home. I got part time for fucking four months. I'm still wrecking. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm injured. But yeah, that's fine. You, you, can be you know the injury percent. though is going to prolong you, so you have to keep training while you're gonna injured. Do something. That's bro. the you only way that well, it's it sucks to say, but it's the only way that people still yeah. stay in the shit. Because I'm once f- you're injured and you take a year to take off, bro, yeah. it's kind of not the same. So like, I, I'm still going to train. Like, I'm going to do live rolls today. Um, 
do physical therapy, bro. You understand what that is? I'm stretching Fucking elastic every day. bands. I stretch every day. Fucking squat jumps. Dude, do, do the knees over toe shit. Now you shouldn't have. I got this thing, the, the monkey feet. I think I've talked about this shit. It's fucking awesome. Where? Uh, look at look up monkey feet. Monkey feet. Yeah, they're fucking great for the knees, dude. Especially for my knees. Um. Yeah. Or uh, Animal House Fit. Uh, no, no, go to Animal House Fit. I'm sorry. Um. No, they're they're like these little things that you put on your shoes or whatever. Lock them in and put a dumbbell on them, and you can fucking. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. Those are, it's amazing. I fucking love it. I was watching this video just now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd say invest in one, bro. I, I just, it just, you could be invest on your Invest in yourself, Rolando. <laughs> fucking am investing in myself. Yeah, invest in your training. Well, <clears throat> your body, dog. It's, it's my This name. is the time where, like, if. Thank you, Dominic. If you don't take care of shit. <laughs> I just want to say about Dom the cop or what? No, Dominic, uh, the old photographer, he's the one who fucked my knee up. How did he? Oh, oh, Dom. Genji? Genji, yeah. You're talking about Genji or Genji? Genji, Genji, Genji. Gen Z. Is that what it is? No. No. No, He wouldn't do that, would he? No, he really did. Did he really? He blew my knee out, yeah. We were, uh, were, I was getting ready for uh, Naga, or Grappling Industries 1 and 2, and um, he had me in the electric chair, and I was not tapping out. The That's le- your fault. The like no photographer well, the, each other. The other thing is like uh <laughs> photographer battle off. Yeah, it was literally that competitive between us. It's especially since house. he was a blue belt and I was a white belt. He said this was my house. And um he had me in the electric chair and I was flexible at the time because I was able to do the splits. I wasn't feeling any pain, and then he gave one final pull. I heard a pop, and it was the knee he had in lockdown. And then I found out that lockdown is one of the worst positions you want to have your leg in because one, uh, one, the bottom part of her leg is going to the right, and the other part of the leg is going the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. It's like a knee bar. Yeah. So oh, yeah, no fun. A lot of uh, practitioners actually blow their knees out in lockdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was a guy. There's a, a, I think he's a brown belt or black belt from B team, the French dude. Uh, he was at IBJJF, and he go, he was in lockdown, blew his knee out, and it couldn't mm-hmm. continue. But he was like a, a good fucking grappler. I've been watching for a while. What position was he in, or was he just? He was on out? top. He was on top, top, and the guy just had him I locked guess, down. I guess. It's, yeah, it's he tough, probably trying man. to move with it. There's those positions, bro. People can slap it on real quick. But um, you ever notice that the kids, uh, the kids that end up like becoming adults in jujitsu, like never f- fuck up, like their their body just <coughs> doesn't go through any type of Min- injury. That's what injury. you think. But they've like it, yeah. they've gotten used to it. You know what I mean? No, they just they their body is attuned to everything. There you so go. Their their like strength their ant. strength is in all the right places for their injuries to be minimal. Yeah. But I just yeah, that's what I've noticed. Yeah, I noticed that with ants, and then uh, ants got some knee problems. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Yeah, no, yes, no, he, he does. does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> some uh, we all have knee problems. Shit, you can't do jujitsu, but they not. don't affect him like crazy. He'll just say like, "She's got some tightness." Yeah. I just remember when he fucked up his uh, foot. <laughs> the first thing he told me at the bar, he was just like, "It wasn't even anything fucking cool that fucked up my foot." <laughs> I think he just stepped wrong. And he put yeah, it. he was he was uh, teaching the kids class. Yeah, he was rolling with somebody and kind of just like rolled his <laughs> ankle. Yeah, he's like, "It wasn't even cool." Yeah, it just happens. It's like, shit oh happens. shit, you're looking for something cool. Yeah. So sometimes uh, the way it happens, though. You think so? I rolled my ankle the other day, fucking jumping off the couch. Nice, jumped off the couch. Well, yeah, cause like I I crossed through the back side of the couch and I like jumped off. But whenever I jumped off, I fucking just rolled my shit. Um, Fucked it up. It hurt. Did I hurt my knee? Uh, doing. Um, Hold on. It was gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Continue. I was saying, wait, what was this? Oh, oh, yeah, no, we were doing, it was a while back, but we were doing, uh, it was shortly after one of the Craig Jones seminar here. We, we did an arm drag, and then, uh, <coughs> did a, like an arm drag, and you pulled, like, to go to the back, and I kind of came up on my knee, and I, it fucking, <laughs> just, 
just ridiculous. This is the IG page you told me to go to. Rolando was looking at ass. <laughs> this is literally the IG page he told me to go to. <laughs> well, that's how they sell stuff nowadays. <laughs> it is. Who uses your product? Yep. Shit influencers. <laughs> Fitness <Jesus> shit influencers. <laughs> I was talking about I never hadn't seen how ripped Andrew Huberman is. Oh, he's ripped, bro. I did not know how ripped he was. Yeah, he's, and he's really all tatted up. Thought, yeah, I never really thought about it. You didn't know he was tatted up or ripped? Nope. <sighs> he says really he doesn't like to show it off. Yeah, that's fine. He doesn't need to. I'm just saying I didn't know. He seemed like a fit guy, but I didn't know he he's, was that he, shredded. Like, he's a punk rocker. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's a punk rocker, and not a lot of people know that. He reminds me of John Nelson from 10th Planet, John Nelson Griffith, whatever. Ronan, John the Ronan, mm-hmm. from he started jer- Thursday Night Jiu Jitsu. Um, shout out John, MMA fighter out of Denver right now. Yeah, Tim playing Denver. Um, but yeah, yeah here they're at. Him. They're in Denver now. Yeah, that's where him and Crystal are, I believe. <coughs> I think Crystal was in our well, Shout out Crystal, getting her perp. Um, but yeah, no, he was shredded carrying a rock. Whatever. Yeah, with Cameron Haynes. Yeah, it was wild. I'm not surprised. He talks about how, like, he has a whole podcast talk about healthy lifestyles. Yeah, no shit. I, know. I then, understand that. I'm but just, did, okay, did you know he he he, had, he was covered in tattoos? That no, that too. I didn't know he had fucking tats all over all over his body. Always have he always has long sleeve shirts on. But it's because no. he has that on there because he talks about he does want students to uh, be distracted with his tattoos. He yeah. wants people uh, to be specifically paying attention to his career. Uh, res- like. Yeah, res- like his res- super professional. As an individual. Yeah, I, exactly. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a genius. Yes, man's a genius. He's really big into punk rock and skating. That's dope. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being that, like, that, just like him, and then, like, you know, that intelligent and that covered in tattoos and working for, what is it, Stanford? Yeah, I believe so. Or was it Columbia? I'm not even sure. Can't remember. He still does, or he... He still does, bro. He's sure. a professor. Makes bank. He, he works in the medicine program. And he's got his, his podcast on the side. Hmm. What was he talking about? His podcast? Like basically living like healthy lifestyles. Uh, to uh, I can be anywhere. He talks about anxiety. He really doesn't like to like backtrack and t- talk on everything. But like he'll talk about like how to fix like ADHD, like addictions, addictions, go about sexual yeah. sex lives, things like that. Like it, it's legitimately like a very educational podcast. I listen to it every week. Like one of the uh, most recent ones, I was like I had, went back a few episodes to listen to this, but it's basically like the ADHD, <laughs> you know, and just how to come back like addictions and stuff like that. You were hearing about the ADHD because you have ADHD. I try to find ways, anyway, any as much as I can to try and improve my focus. So far, weed's been helping out a lot. Dope. It's crazy because yeah. yeah, I have ADHD also. No, I think yours is a little bit better than mine. It, why would you say that? Uh, you seem a lot more concentrated and focused. What, with with what? Uh, class, for example. Look at how much you progressed in class. I don't think you would have progressed like that having a severe case of ADHD. Well, well, yeah, because my fo- this, I basically you focus on what you like to focus. on. I like to focus on this, but I can't fucking learn a, a diddly squat in the fucking classroom. Are you also you're also always just juggling a whole bunch of shit? Yeah, it was like That's you're true. you're a busy man. You have too many mind. Yeah. That's true. You have too many mind. Shout out last time. You, you got your hand in every bag. I try to, try to, try to. That's all right. That's uh, good though. Don't be hard on yourself. Because one of the bags is going to fucking fill up. Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And hopefully we make it there. Dude, you want to talk about when I tried to choke you from the bottom? Uh, <laughs> you were in full mount? <laughs> uh, yeah, you did, you did. I escaped, I think. <laughs> Dude, when I tried to rape choke you from the yeah. bottom? It was not happening. Yeah, I thought it was I got bad. really... I got, yeah, I thought you were going to kill me. I, I got really fucking mad when you did that. <laughs> Why? It's a like, I, was gonna... I started slamming like his head on the ground, I think. <laughs> I was fucking. I was really choke, p- bro. I was pissed, bro. Even that, I was just like, "You're in full well. You can murder me." And I was just like grabbing his head, like slamming it on the mat. I'm basically it's fighting choke. to survive. It's a choke, bro. If you could use that in a tournament, I'm pretty sure you could. But like yeah, the thing is, people nobody's gonna do it because they're gonna get arm barred. Yeah, exactly. that's the. It's crazy. really to get a reaction. Maybe you, you want somebody. Got it, I didn't get the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Uh, it was very personal. Yes. I've done that to Alec too one time. I was fucking grabbing him by the neck. He's yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Alec would be like, What are you I doing, was, man? I was like, It's a BT team. He's like, Fuck your BT team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I got really bad, mad, bro. Oh, 
Yeah. Dust. Yeah. It's it sounds like you had some PTSD. I was like, yeah, did something happen to you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah his name's Dustin, the Hebrew hammer. Oh, the he Hebrew. what? He's trying to choke you like that? Yeah, he, he did choke me like that. He got the tap. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was so I random. Arm bars. Arm bars, fucking swims. Do you want to know what's so like funny? Just a deep swim. You're fucking just shooting do, all the way. Make a circle. Swim. Do you want to know what's so funny? Is that uh, I noticed that whenever you try catching Dustin, like that little dude spaz is like a fucking angry cat. Uh, wild. I'm like an angry cat. <laughs> Are you saying that because he likes cats? Dustin's pretty wild. <laughs> no, when are we, no, we going to get Dustin on? Yeah, we, well, we're still trying to. We've been talking about him for a while on the pod. Uh, I'm really excited to have, bring Peter on the pod. Oh, he's going to come on? Yeah, I, I messaged him the other day. I had Peter. no idea. Uh, Peter's the Pistol dude. Pete. Oh, Pistol Peter's Pete. another word for wiener. <laughs> uh, um, Pistol Pete's going to be coming on, and if y'all don't know, he does uh, backyard <laughs> brawls. Yeah, 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 he did He did street beefs. Yeah, street no, beefs, I remember. So yeah. I never remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also got to get the dude who He's a uh, skater too, so that's okay. We also got to get the the dude who comes in every now and then. Um, who uh, he's he's friends with Ricky. He's the guy who organizes all those fights. Oh, for oh, he, he's coming in. No, I, I want to get him on here and just to talk. No, <laughs> <laughs> one at a time, brother. <laughs> oh, one at a time. One at a time. He's <laughs> all <laughs> man. One at a time. <laughs> But uh, <coughs> why RJ? Well, they, for one, they don't even train here. That's true. Never mind. I. It's just like we want to not just that we want to give. Not that that would be an interesting because <coughs> like nobody's even. I'm not saying nobody's listening, but like there's certain people you want to put on, right? Like, Chingo yeah, Boy, get, you wa- I, wanted to put us on for whatever yeah. reason, you know, like because we're we're grinding in jujitsu and he sees the grind. Did he, did he give us any feedback on the episode? <coughs> I forgot to ask him, honestly. <laughs> did it already vibrate? Did you, did you get a puff out of no, it or no? I got like one little one. There, it should vibrate after a sec. Um, but yeah, you can't just put everybody on. But we could just put everybody on. Not it's that, just not like that. We're like, so would that push people on for? Okay. But it just it's it sucks whenever we don't know them, right? Like, yeah. It, well, that was the thing is like I I wanted to use this platform to get to know like other practitioners and get them into the gym so that we could learn off of them, you yeah. know, and so on and so forth. Like uh, the other person I wanted to bring on was the MMA fighter. That chick, uh, she trains though for uh, Ohana, uh, but she's a really good MMA fighter. Like I saw her perform live, and it was like a legit fucking brawl. Yeah. Yeah, and she's a wrestler. Like that's her thing is wrestling. Get her on, yeah, and then so maybe she can teach a women's class in here and yeah, get these girls dope. wrestling. That'd be pretty gonna dope. head hunt Ohana or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry, Ohana. That was fucking. Um, I was gonna. Are you guys gonna go to the uh, the four twenty show uh, this month on the seventeenth? Which show? Four twenty or uh, the fucking hemp at Danny Boy's hemp? Oh, they're doing another one. Yeah, every month. Damn. I don't know. We'll see. I might. I probably. I'd pay for it this time. I appreciate. Shout out to Daniel. Fucking yeah, our boy yeah, Daniel. Daniel. Talk to the microphone. Really always giving us putting on a great show. Yeah, dude. Danny, Danny him, bro. Hell yeah. Bro, that that was so much fun. Danny boy, him. Sorry. I'm not gonna lie. I got really, really, really stoned, and I was just like freaking out. I had. I couldn't sit down. I had to stand up. Talk about how you, your experience was then, since you were the highest. Yeah, it was. It was. It was, it was a lot. I was like, <laughs> well, like so. What do you think about the gay heckler? <sighs> <laughs> I didn't see that. You didn't see that. I, I, I didn't. Where were you at? Did I was you, in the Did you back. see that? Did uh, you pay attention to the gay heckler? I can't remember. I didn't. Whose set was it? It was the last dude set, but he bombed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I don't I remember, remember his yeah. name. I don't know what the fuck yeah, he was Governor doing. Because went on before him. I think he fucking. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That that dude ended up bombing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. He was yeah, the, the main. Headliner. Headliner. Head, yeah, the main the dude. Headliner. And he just did so shitty. He like. I don't know who he was, and like, we're not going to say who he was, but I feel like he tried to talk like he was on a podcast. Yeah, to yeah. people. To people, but, like, that's not what you're supposed to do, bro. You're supposed to fucking throw your shit out, throw some skits. Like He was what, do, what, trying to do crowd work. Yeah, and it was, like, it's cool, but, like, we're not a fucking TV series. Like, you know, we're not going to laugh whenever you're like, ha, ha, ha. Like, yeah, it was kind of weird. I was like, bro, and then the gay dude started heckling him. Oh, that's he's yeah, like that's yeah, right. yeah. He's like yeah, boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said boring, like just a little fucking gay voice in the back. Boring, bro. Uh, so when I got up, I got I, I got too stoned, and I got up, and I went to the back, 
And then Governor Nell comes out. He's like, my fucking heart's beating real fast, man. I'm fucking freaking out. I haven't been high this high in a very long time. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, bro, I was like, I'm the same. I'm like standing up right now because I'm in the same boat as you. Just relax. You're freaking me out now. What y'all need to do when it's like that? Usually. I'm way past that feeling now because well, it's been a, a consistent habit every day, every you morning. You see, though, that's the, what you think. But I, you smoked one of those hash holes that I rolled up and it fucking turned it up for you. Oh, yeah. So, like, that's the thing. You always think that your your level's gone up until you've tried something strong again. So, funny, because, like, I was like, dude, I was like, I, uh, I smoked someone that had a hash, and then he's like, I, me too, me too. I'm freaking out, like. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Just fucking buy some hot We Cheetos. wrote it out. I, I mean, Governor killed, and Dan, Daniel killed, Governor killed. Um, I like that white Nick, dude. Nick, yeah, the white dude destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed. I liked, uh... I liked the, the the other dudes too. They were good. They were good. They were all yeah, they were all good. The headliner. Except, dude, that that just did so shitty. Yeah, the yeah, headliner. That's what I'm saying. I, feel, I think he felt upstaged a bit. Maybe I, don't know. I think he was he was going in there thinking he could, he could pull off crowd work and it just yeah, was like, not the right crowd for it. Yeah, no man. Everybody's way too stoned to it wasn't a understand. Crowd work what, show. No, what I understood. Uh, dude, it was easy to get. He just was fucking boring. Like really, like he was. Like, come on, man! You could have at least two or three jokes to fucking go off of yeah still an awesome show. he had nothing yeah it was a great show though and i love their fucking setup yeah bro i i we, we got to decorate like that so ideally i want to put a tv there and then i'm about to i was gonna say i'm about to i'll bring a tv you yeah. have an extra tv yeah to hang mm-hmm. yeah we'll hang it up we'll keep it there and then um but nobody can take it. It's got it. We got to let them know that it's my TV, though, because we'll put a sign. People we'll end up taking TVs, you know, like if TV needs to be moved. They're like, oh, who who brought it? And they'll be like, I don't know. You can have it. You know, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. But um, yeah, I want to do that. Uh, I mean, just this place kind of came. It turned out to be a studio like without us knowing. Mm-hmm. It's pretty dope. And then I just want to have the kind of setup like the aesthetic that uh uh, that hemp shop had, bro. It was legit. It was so simple and legit. I think we this we coffee table we need to go like on the a, side. Yeah. So ideally, the way I want this to go is um, I'm gonna get long longer cords, where I'm gonna have this over there, and uh, this is gonna be like my little workshop. The cords are gonna run underneath the mats to the back over there. So ideally, I just come in and I just connect that, and that's it. That'd be dope. I, I don't gotta move the cords and nothing like that, and then just set up the camera. That's how much is like a smaller one of these? Because I've seen some people have a podcast with like a small one. It almost looks like a phone. And this shit. one costed uh, nine hundred dollars at the time. Yeah, I'm toasted right now. <laughs> yeah, I noticed you you blank out and space out and fucking burnt toast. Oh yeah, no. Well, we got fifty one. Um, we're already fifty one minutes in. You, you guys want to call it? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. It's finish up to the hour. Okay. Yeah, finish finish it. Finish it. What else y'all want to talk about? It's been a while. We're barely getting back into the groove of things. It's been a while, bull. We had Cam on last time. Yeah, yeah, that episode needs to go up. It's just so ideally what's going on with my computer is my computer can't even run YouTube without it randomly dying and then trying to restart. And I haven't had time to fuck with it. I'm off tomorrow, thankfully, and I don't, I don't have anything on my fucking agenda to do. There you go. Well, I already, I already well. recorded two pods today. This is the second pod I'm recording. I already recorded one uh, a little while ago. Mm. So... So what it, what would you have to do like to run it if you were to use somebody else's computer? You just have your hard drive. And no, fucking I gotta have my hard drive connected. It's gotta be an Apple uh, computer because uh, my hard drive is written strictly but through Mac code. And then well, uh, if ha- it didn't happen and it so happens that you need to use a computer, I have a Mac. So yeah, I I need to download Premiere Pro on it. Yeah, get the we can get the ball rolling for sure. <laughs> Hold on, so <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can fix something, but um. Um, yeah, I, I, I got hooked up all that stuff, so I have two cameras now. I find it so hard to believe that, like, the way that fucking internet and everything, broadband and all that shit works, that there's no way that this video could just be transferred to your phone already like that. Dude, so, uh, about that, like, I, I'm, like, trying to figure out, like, what's the next, like, I don't think podcasting is here to stay. I think podcasting is, uh, gonna set the foot into something else. I think the next thing would probably either be live streaming or 3d glasses where everybody's like literally here in the fucking room uh so. it's definitely live streaming so because you obviously like look at the kai sent shit did you see that he did that jail thing for a week yeah i saw and then he got the girls to rescue him 
Yeah. What is this? I don't know. You didn't tell, see tell, that? No, tell, tell. what is this? You know who Kai Sen is? Uh uh-uh. uh. You know the He's an Oh man, I don't know what he is. He's an influencer, but he just does like live stream with uh Aiden Ross and shit. You know Aiden Ross? You don't know the Aiden Ross kid? Uh uh-uh. uh. You know fucking uh, the gargoyle chick? You don't know who I'm talking about? Uh, that big old tranny. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah. The <laughs> Have you seen how she comes on Aiden Ross's um, stream? Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, I might probably shouldn't have said tranny, but um. I mean, I, I think it, I think it's fine. <laughs> no, I mean, if maybe if you're talking, I think about I think if, if I'm not worried about it, I don't think you should either. All right. Anyway, Transformers, whatever you want. <laughs> um. Yeah, so she's been on Aiden Ross's podcast or stream and shit. But there's there's this one kid that <clears throat> he did a stream from jail. <laughs> so he did seven days in jail. And every day he had like a new person come in like, you know, El Nelly Chapa. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. And then fucking Drewski came on. Oh, shit. So like all these people came on to his live stream from jail. So they're basically like living in jail, but it's just a stream. And like... It's all just a joke, basically, because, like, you know, they know they're getting out in seven days. Oh, wow. But they're living like they're in jail. But they're all just homies, so they're just being dumb. It's like it's like a, it's like glorifying fucking jail life, Dude, almost. Speaking of that, did y'all see this? Hold on. I think that's glorifying jail. Nah, he was, in, he was in prison, girl. He was in prison. Did you see this, this interview? What was it? Yeah, he tried to like ask him some shit. Yeah, uh, 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 here it is. Here it is. This video that alleged that it was you uh, involved in this crazy ass shootout. W- what was that situation? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it, it might not have been you. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah. I don't think it was me. Okay. <laughs> but that wasn't related to any of the cases that you caught? This is, dude. <laughs> Put him on blast. Well played. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> what the he fuck? He just played the fifth. That was 22 as well. <laughs> Bro, he was just like, that was new. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> I don't think it was me. I don't think it was me. I don't think I was. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> You see, though, like that is that that's still like that's a good podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's been around for a while. I don't know what he was doing. Um, Vlogs. Yeah, for like bike stuff, yeah, with right? BMX. Yeah, yes, BMX, bro. He's good at BMX riding. And, uh, I remember that too. With his friends and vlog. I remember that shit too, dude. Yeah, and then he would have. Was he living on Skid Row at the time? On. I don't remember his his shop was shit. there or yeah, something. Yeah, on some shit. Yeah, that's the name of the shop. It was on. I don't know where it was before, but then he got on Melrose. Yeah, the little people was there a lot, and then fucking yeah, all, that's how he blew up there. because yeah. all those little rappers all, would come and chill with him. Rappers came through. Interesting. Okay. I didn't it know was, about any of this. Old, old school podcast. Dude. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I've been familiar with No Jumper for yeah. quite quite some time, and then uh, Sharp is also a character. Yeah, but fucking right. X, 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 yeah, X, extension extension. Extensions on no, there. No, it was ex extension. That's how he said bro. it. Ex-ex-tentacion. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. He had an interview, that's and that's how, how he said it. Say, yeah, that's, that's how, how he, he pronounced his name. X X X what? Tentacion. Tentacion. Interesting. Because yeah. he was real into fucking language, bro. Like yeah. he was into fucking meanings of Greek words and stuff. Like, yeah, he like created like a like a name that like meant something, and didn't, I was like, didn't damn. he like hit a, hit a chick or something? Uh, I, mean, I don't know probably. about that. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what was I going to tell you? God damn it. I was going to say something about, uh, uh, oh, Sharp is always like, that's not what I'm saying there, playa. Like, fucking <coughs> goes up. Welcome, no jumper. Best podcast in the world. No, I just remember. Damn. Like, Why aren't you yeah, fucking doing that for our podcast? What? Like those voices. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Just going live. Just be like that the whole time. I, I didn't think. Put I, on this like, persona. Like Red Band. Yeah. Like in the beginning. Just. What? What? Live from the comedy mother uh-huh. Live in Austin, hold Texas Hold on, hold on, <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. How, how does he do it? Hold on <laughs> Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the live from the mothership And a brand new episode yeah. of Kill Tony Give it up for Tony Hatchcliffe Like, that's the way he does it Like <laughs> what? what? What's so funny? I don't know, that was like a quieted down version 
That was a quieted down version. Yeah, but don't do it. Do you want me to fucking <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Everybody's gonna come in here. Nah, nobody will come in here. No, uh, and then he laughs like, <laughs> like so he laughs He's wild. Yeah, it's it's, it's funny. Red then, Band's not even dude, how affiliated is Red Band with with Rockstar. Uh, dude, so a f- wild story about that. So he Rockstar uh, Company or the Rockstar? No, like Rockstar the Rockstar Gaming. Games. So oh, like, like GTA. he was trying to figure for like a like a long time ago when like GTA was the first thing. Like, Red Band was trying to like get his podcasting onto the, those games. Oh, that's genius, dude. They denied him, and then they, of course, the fucking Rogan and all those podcasts went up, which is are the ones that he was trying to get, and uh, like they literally lost like millions of dollars because of that. Like he, he I, remember, I remember he talked about it one time, like I think on the live stream or, stream or something. Wow, it's wild as hell. Yeah, like they missed, they dropped the bag on that one. They're still doing okay though. Promise you, too many people play fucking GTA. Well, my before I found that out, I was like trying to get like our podcast like in areas because we have enough like episodes to send to them and stuff. And yeah. uh, I was like hoping to try to get on one of those games. And then I found out about him. I was like, oh, I was like, I'm not the only one uh, <laughs> for sure. That'd be crazy. It's only a matter of time. It's an hour. You think Roman's done with uh, class? No, he's not done with class. Upper belting it up. 8.30, he'd be done with class and be time to roll, but... Yeah, we're fucked. (laughs) Just kidding. He'll call us out. He's gonna hurt us. I don't care. I'll get called out. Uh, We've already been called out on the fucking pod, live on the pod. He called y'all out. He didn't call me out. You can give me a purple belt, but you can't take it back. That's true. (laughs) I haven't been playing for a while, brother. So what's it been like since you guys uh, became purple belts? It's a big fucking target. Mm, Yeah. yeah, Big wide target. Everybody wants to. Nothing got better. (laughs) Nothing gets better. Everybody wants to get you. You may get the object, but everything. Everybody has to get you. Yeah, for sure. Everything that follows the object is uh, pretty lame. Well, everybody wants to tap a purple belt. Everybody wants to tap a higher belt. That's the way it is. Whenever you were white belt, you wanted to tap a blue belt. Whenever you were a fucking blue belt, you wanted to tap purples and browns and blacks and shit. Or whenever you were white, you wanted to tap purple, brown, black and shit. Like, it's just what, you, what you've what you always tried. Literally, the higher you get, the bigger the fucking target gets. So you just got to stay on your game all the time. Especially if you're That's why I let Fools have my back And yeah Just work out of shitty positions But uh Yeah no it's a, The target thing's for, sh- for sure a thing um, You get to wear purple stuff And then uh I don't have anything purple yet I'm looking for something good to um, wear. Dude uh, Did you have anything on, blue? S- speaking uh, Yeah oh. I did have a blue but I wouldn't really worry. It, it's it's so funny that the minute that these dudes get promoted, then they'll show up like <laughs> the next day with like the tenth planet like rash guard of that color. Dedication. It, I can priority I can shit. Dedication, bro. G- like, I'm gonna be a pro belt, so I'm just gonna buy it. Yeah, I think uh, I think Hammer <laughs> already yeah, has. That's a, a, literally, that's some alpha shit. Hammer did, did some alpha shit buying that fucking shit. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be a pro belt, so I'm getting the pro belt shit. Hell yeah. So it's gonna show you guys this. Uh, oh, I already showed it to y'all. Uh, so I thought this was pretty funny. Right. Where is it? Uh, is that local video? Oh, those are yeah. Kia boys. Yeah. Hold on, let me see. Hey, yo, That's yo, your yo, apartment yo. complex, right? Hey, bastards! The cops are on the fucking way. Fuck. <laughs> the fuck you. You know they just shot it in the air. No, so what happens is when they cut the corner, they uh, ran to one of my neighbors, and they fired at him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's wild, man. Yeah. Did he get hit? Uh, not that I know of, but uh, it w- we were hearing it all over the neighbors out the next day. And, I mean, they were hitting licks on our apartment complex every day for a whole fucking week. What's the law in your apartment complex as far as carrying? I don't know. Because a, a really lot of apartment, plan, or apartment complexes, yeah, they ban like, guns. Yeah, they have it, it's like a no gun law, so that if you ever ended up doing something and someone got shot, they're still going to be able to fucking give you a ticket for something. That's wild. It's and wild, right? Yeah. So that's really what well. got to get a got to get property, brother. Farmland, you got to get Dude, farmland. Oh shit! Even at your, your house, you have to yeah. shoot them in your fucking property. Well, uh, you fall, well. So the way I found out, it, I, I I could be wrong. This was years ago. I was told. So if you have a, a, a concealed handgun license, uh, you're automatically excluded from the castle doctrine, to my understanding. I could mm-hmm. be wrong. 
So in other words, if you don't have a CHL, you go in, you fit into the castle doctrine, which is like protecting your assets and all that shit, yeah. mm. and your property. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the whole fucking thing's weird. It is weird. <coughs> so all right, we're now we're in. All right, I guess we'll call it. I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna go shower up real quick. All right. Later. Later, Later y'all.